from Alberta. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Zung Saling. If you didn't have eyes, even your ears would betray me. There aren't many things in this world that can phase me. No, wait, that's a lie. Give me another try. Hi everyone, I'm Chinese. I'm sure you can all see upon your very first sight of me that I'm some form of Orient offspring. Japanese, Korean, maybe from the Philippines, but come on, does that really mean anything? Well, I can make rice as easily as breathing. I got a math award in grade four. In my closet right now, there are two Chinese dresses and a pair of chopsticks for my hair. I can't speak a word of Mandarin. I haven't touched Chinese soil in five years. I'm an ex-honor student crashing in her last stretch of high school. The last stretch that really matters, and yet I'm hitting rock bottom with a squelch, a splatter. Do you see the gray matter on the walls? The ripped and flaking posters in the halls that get thinner and thinner every year, rice paper thin, like the lies I always hear because they were lies. Well-intentioned, stupid lies, but they buzzed around my head like flies because I was a blossoming flower. No, scratch that, my mind was a blossoming flower. No, scratch that, my potential was a blossoming flower. And now, now the fruit's gone sour and I find myself in the bottom of the bargain bin at Superstore because I can't find it within myself to hide my bruises, hide my sores. And the oranges and tangerines that surround, they're suffocating me with their bright and bubbly visage, the mirage of collection and perfection of the ideal resurrection of values from a golden age that left their golden children to decay, to rot, to putrefy, to waste away on the inside. And they will until their dying day. As long as they can sell themselves, avoid abandonment on those corporate shelves. It doesn't matter how bitter, how sour, how sadder they are, if they don't show a single scar. Well, I say, fuck that. Open me up and take a look. I'm a vitriolic open book. So follow me to chapter eight when I entered into the very first grade and they told me, in more or less words, they told me that the only thing that I could save, if not my language, my language, my heritage, my very place on this big, big, so big globe in space, the history that was never mine to trace. No, what I should save were my grades. And the fissure of those words, tucked away behind my lungs, faded into softer hurts. Until we came to this age of revelry, of rebellion, and settling for no little thing like a future. And oh look, I tore my stitches, my sutures were obviously not well hidden enough, and now, now I refuse to bluff with my mouth wide open until the day you stuffed me bruised and battered into my final resting place. And even then, above my head, in rows and rows of the forgotten dead, there will lie a tombstone. It's epitaph red. Here lies Zhang Siling, no broken bones, no cavities worth filling, no significant scars, one birthmark, I think. But regardless of her unmarred skin, don't delude yourself to imagine in that this flower lived an hour being bright for anyone else. Only her. She sold herself to only her. P.S. Sorry, highest bidder, your currency holds no value here. We can't cash bullshit and return lost ears. Yeah!